Yep. That you don't even necessarily need. <laughs> I'm trying not to like, laugh. Like, seriously, you can really go to a trade school and just get what you need and be done. Like, a lot of this stuff that you have to go to college for to get a degree in, you can't even find a job in that mm. in that uh, degree that you try to achieve. So, and the counselor does not help you because they still want you to take all these classes that don't mean nothing. Like, what do I need to take... Um, History for it. <laughs> history is, I'm not going to be a history teacher. I don't want to do um, political science. I don't want to do um, a lot of those classes that they make you take. Just like for mortuary science. Um, we took a lot of classes. The second one. We took a lot of classes that were like, let's say, anatomy and physiology, thanatology, restorative art. Um, and bombing, all those things directly related to what I needed. But okay. then when you get out and you go to different like states or something like that, especially the different like East Coast, okay. the South, you need a bachelor's, not an associate. So now there's another step you have to take. Um, you have to get your licenses as well. So like, Okay, so let me stop you for a second. I didn't know that. I remember when you was going to school. I didn't know you. So I got to get my degree. I got to pay to go to school. Absolutely. And then after I get that, that's not it. Now, I didn't know that. Oh. I thought after I get my degree, after I get this right here, I'm Gucci. I can go in there. I fill out my application. They either going to hire me or not. So you mean when I get the degree mm -hmm. and I go there, mm -hmm. learn how to embalm bodies, yes. do all that shit that you have to do, all those hours that you told me you had to do. Mm -hmm. But you, I forgot, I never, you never told me you had to get a license. I didn't oh, know that. Absolutely. So before you can get the license, you have to do an apprenticeship. And so do you get paid to do it? You get paid bottom dollar to Damn. be an apprentice. And you have to find somebody who is willing to let you work underneath them to be their apprentice. And, and that's even hard. So if you can't find like a big corporation, they may have the people, but if you work for a small mom and pop, they don't have the money to hire an apprentice. Plus their trade and bomber that they only have to come in and embalm or at nights or on the sides. Question. What's a trade and bomber? A person that has their embalming license and they just go to different places and do trade work. Like they embalm per case. So they're not an employee of the funeral home. They're just, like a traveling embalmer. I didn't know that. Yes. All right, Mariah, you about to educate me today. God damn, nigga, you ain't tell me none of that. See, you see how every look, look, Nuke, look, Tasha, look, everybody. I didn't know none of this shit. I thought I could just go get my degree. After I get my degree, I fill out my application, and then either they gonna hire me or they not gonna hire me. Nope. I don't never remember you telling. You never told me, nigga, I had to go get a license. Oh, absolutely. So. And then when you try your apprenticeship, like I said, they can't afford to hire you. So it's like you're really searching and searching, trying to find a place that'll hire you. And you're so desperate because you need to get that step to go to the next step. And so you kind of like basically settle for pennies. Damn. When I first started bombing, I was working in California. Speak guess, on it. Guess how much I made as an apprentice? How much did you make? Because I never asked you that. $12 an hour. In California? In California. And that was back in 1998. God. Wait. Hey. hey and didn't you, was it Harrison Ross? Who was it? Simpson Family Morgan. Simpson. <laughs> in Inglewood. Yes. Absolutely. In Inglewood. Uh -huh. yes. $12, $12 an hour. And, and so I, how are you supposed to pay your bills? And then I got raised up to $12.50. Okay. So, well, how are you supposed to pay your bills, though? Right. So I had a side job as well. <laughs> <laughs> I was bartending. <laughs> yep. Tell them, tell the people. Because it's very important, cause oh, because a lot of people, even me, I thought, because you never I never asked you. Cause see, my cousin, we grew up together, so I used to see her all the time. My cousin, see, we do that. Black folk, we do that. Let's keep it a buck. We will not tell people like, hey, these niggas is not paying me. Oh, we'll just goodness. keep it smooth. You was coming around us all that time, and we were singing in damn choir. And oh, we yeah. weren't getting paid to sing in that choir. Oh, and, no. and, well, the musicians were. <laughs> okay. yeah. Look, look. <laughs> and they was paying you $12 an hour. $12 an hour. So I had to bartend on the side. I had to do hair on the side. Sure did I, do I hair. I also have my cosmetology and barber license as well. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. So you mean to tell me this. Once you graduated, because I remember, I was at the graduation party where everybody was there. Um... Uh, 
I'm under the impression because of that. Boom, that's it. Now I'm about to go. You may be doing apprenticeship, but then after that, I'm guaranteed a job making in the 90s at least $18, $19 an hour to suffice. That's what I'm thinking in my head. Absolutely. Because you never, we would always see each other, me, you, everybody. Nobody ever thought that you was making that. We just assumed well, Mariah getting paid. That ain't good that we assume that because, <laughs> you know, I remember we singing in the choir, we going to church. You were still coming. I'm like, now if I rewind time, then how the fuck was you doing all that off of $12 an hour? Absolutely. So you had to. I had a, uh, uh, so you went to school. So how was the cosmetology when you went to school? So I remember you went to school to do that. Was that more lucrative than the mortuary science degree? Yes. But here's the deal. It's <laughs> always a, a, a balance. Okay. So like, if I'm not sitting in the shop, I can't catch the customers. If I'm not out promoting myself. Yeah, in L.A., yep, that's yeah, true. I can promote myself all I want, but then I'm missing the people that might be walking through the door. Mm -hmm. And then I'm not full-time at the shop, so, like, I was never that girl that went to cosmetology school and just stayed. Like, I never did nothing but hair. Even in hair, it's a slow period, so you don't want to just sit that chair paying booth rent and not get no money. So you have to do something else. You always have to. Oh, and just to let y'all know this, this, these are facts. We got other family members that could attest to this shit. Mariah was like our Jamaican cousin. <laughs> Mariah had all these guys, and it, 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 you, it, it, but we never knew how much you was making, so we just assume Mariah's doing good because us, we saw you all the time, but you never came around like, yeah, boy, man, these niggas ain't paying me. Woo, -woo. we just made it. You, you. A lot of us do that. And I'm just saying this, cuz, oh, because it don't even sound real. I didn't know you was making $12 an hour. I would have thought they was paying at least 17 You would think that, especially when I had to deal with guys that had hepatitis A, B, C, HIV, 1, 2. Man. I was the first person to pick up a body out here that had the swine flu. Remember when that came Yep, out? yep. And then, now we have the, what, COVID-19. <laughs> I can't tell you how many people I've been bombed with COVID-19. Oh, they didn't yeah. want to pay you? They didn't want to pay you? That's crazy. So you got these, so you got your mortuary science degree, you got your cosmetology license, then they tell you, you need to get your mortuary science license to even a bomb by. So then you even, I remember you told me, you was like, yeah, I even had to go get, you didn't say license, you just was like, I had to go get other stuff because they playing around with my money. Remember that conversation we had? So that was the license you had to get. Yes. So then after you get the license, when you went back to the corporate plantation, in your mind, what was going through your head? Like, okay, y'all niggas got to break, break yeah, bread now. Like, give me the bag. It has to happen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going to get your health benefits after 90 days. You get a pay raise. And when you get this, then we'll give you another raise. Damn. I just left the job for that. Because they wouldn't. For that very same reason. Wasn't Palms had, a little bit like that too? No, Palms was actually when I worked for Ken Nas, it was a family owned business okay. at the time. Yep. And then he sold the insurance company section of the business, which made quadruple more than all nine of his mortuaries put together. Mm. So then I knew something was up. And on April Fool's Day, he sold to SCI. And what's, a, what's is, SCI? It's a um, basically a corporation full of bankers and brokers that buy up cemetery <laughs> and mortuary property. And they come from Texas. But if you think of Rose Hills in California, yep. so Rose Hills had 19 affiliates. So SCI bought them and all their affiliates. Then they came out here in Vegas and monopolized the business too. They had both locations at Davis. They had Thomas and Jones. Um, they had Palm, all the, their locations too, but then they broke it up and said they were two different type of entities, but it was still under the same umbrella. 